Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to crochet these super adorable fruit pouches. They are very simple, easy and quick to make. We've got the apple pouch, the tomato pouch and the pumpkin pouch. Before we begin, let's talk about how I changed my link in bio page from this to this. With the help of our today's sponsor, Universe. Universe is a drag and drop app designed for creating engaging websites highly customizable according to your creative visions. It has many unique features like the Giphy blog and the Doodle blog, which are so much fun to play around with and make you enjoy your website building process. It allows you to pick a personalized domain and start building your website from a bunch of templates or start up with a blank canvas. You can edit your website anywhere on your iPad, iPhone, or computer. Whether you want to build a portfolio or an online shop for a small business, Universe has all the tools you need. I love how easy and intuitive it is to use Universe. Features like copy and paste save so much time to build your website. And look, I don't have any coding skill, but I just turn a video from my phone into a loop on my website, and that's just so cool. Beyond that, you can showcase your artworks or projects in a gallery on Universe, displaying your images in a layout of your choice on your website. If you're in the US, you can use two essential features from Universe for your shop, the sale blog and download blog. They are especially important for crochet designers like us who sell digital prints. Those features will allow you to easily make money online in under a minute. Although sale and download blocks are US only, you can still use paper block to accept international payments. If you want to start selling, you can upgrade to Universe Pro, where you can also get rid of Universe branding, access a code block, and unlock more customization options. Don't forget to use the first link in my description box to get 25% off Universe Pro, or use the second link to try Universe for free. Thank you to Universe for sponsoring this video, and it was super helpful to update my link in bio page. Now let's get back to our tutorial. Now let's get started. These are the materials you're gonna need. And these are the crochet abbreviations. If you're making the upper pouch, you will need two colors, beige and red. But if you're making the tomato or pumpkin, you only need one color. We're gonna start with the beige yarn and start with the magic ring. To make a magic ring, wrap the yarn around your finger to get the two loops. So when you get two loops like that, bring the back loop from under the front loop like this and make chain one. Now that you got a magic ring, for the round one, we're gonna do 10 half double crochets into the magic ring. After your first half double crochet, mark the stitch with the stitch marker. And continue crocheting until you have 10 half double crochet in total. When you get done half double crochet, put the yarn tightly to close the round. And now we're gonna join this round by making one slip stitch into the very fast half double crochet that we marked with a stitch marker. So remove the stitch marker, insert your hook into that fast half double crochet and make one slip stitch. Now we have finished making round one and to start round two, make chain one and we will start again from that stitch that we make the slip stitch into. To start, make one half double crochet into that stitch and here please note that chain one and slip stitch are not included in our total stitch count. After you have made the first stitch of the second round, mark the stitch with a stitch marker and insert your hook into that same stitch again and make another half double crochet. Because for this round, we're doing an increase in all the stitches. So you have to make a total of 10 half double crochet increase for this round. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now I finished making 10 half double crochet increase and here be careful to not get confused. This is a slip stitch that we made previously. So when you once you get 10 half double crochet increase, stop there and we will connect to the fast stitch with a sl slip stitch just like before. Insert your hook into the fast stitch and make one slip stitch to complete round two. Now we're gonna start round three just like before. To start, make chain one and First, make one half double crochet into that first stitch again. Mark the stitch with the stitch marker. And after that, you have to make one half double crochet increase into that next stitch. So this is our little sequence and we will start again with one half double crochet. And after that, make one half double crochet increase again. So this is our little sequence for this round. We will repeat one half double crochet, one half double crochet increase for a total of 10 times. When you're finished, just like before, we will connect with a slip stitch to the very fast stitch. Now we have made up to round three and this is how it looks like after round three. To start round four, make chain one and make one half double crochet into the very first stitch and mark that stitch with a stitch marker. In the next stitch, you have to make one half double crochet increase. And in the next stage, you have to make one half double crochet again to complete our little sequence. So this is how it goes, one half double crochet and then increase and one half double crochet. So we will start again to repeat that little sequence with one half double crochet. And after that, in the next stage, make one half double crochet increase. And after that, in the next stage, make one half double crochet to complete our little sequence. So we will repeat that little sequence again. I'll show you one more time. Make one half double crochet first. After that, make one half double crochet increase. And after that, make one half double crochet. So you have to repeat this little sequence for a total of 10 times. And at the end of this round, we will change to red yarn because we're doing the apple pouch. When you are doing the last stitch of this round, when you get three loops on the hook like this, do not pull through the yarn. Instead, we're gonna pull through the new yarn, the red yarn, to change the colors. Place the red yarn on top of your hook just like this and pull it through all three loops. This is how we change colors. And after that, as usual, make one slip stitch into the very first stitch of round four with that red yarn. And here, place the red yarn and the remaining yarn tail over the hook so that they are buried under the stitches. So now we have finished making round 4 and now we're gonna do round 5. To start round 5, make chain 1 and make one half double crochet into the, the same very fast stitch. Place those yarns over the hook. Mark the stitch with a stitch marker. And after that, make two more half double crochet in next two stitches. And now in the next stitch, you're gonna do one half double crochet increase. So this is our little sequence for this round, round five. We will start again with three half double crochet. After three half double crochet, make one half double crochet increase in the next stitch. So this is our little sequence for this round and as usual you have to repeat this for a total of 10 times. You can cut those yarn tails after you have buried them under like 
eight to nine stitches. At the end, make one slip stitch into the very first stitch as usual. And after that, you can cut the yarn. We will stretch the circle a little bit so that it's more flattened. And now you have to make another circle just like this one with the red yarn only. So you have to follow the exact same pattern without color changing. Now we're going to do the applique which will connect two circles that we made just like this one. We're going to use the red yarn and start with the slip knot. After making a slip knot, make 7 chains. For the row 1, we will start from the second chain from the hook. Insert your hook into the second chain from the hook. And make 1 single crochet. Into the next chain, make 1 single crochet. And just like that, make one single crochet into each remaining chain to get a total of six single crochet. Now we have finished the row one. And to start row two, you have to make chain one and turn your piece just like this. Make one single crochet into the first stitch that you see. And make one single crochet into each. Until the end, you will also get a total of six single crochet. So this is how we're going to do. To start another row, make chain 1, turn your piece, just make one single crochet into each stitch. We will repeat that until we get 38 rows in total. You will get 6 single crochet in each row. Now I've made a total of 38 rows and we can join everything together. And first we will join with a circle made with the red yarn only. When we join them together, we will start from the last stitch of the last round, which is just next to the slip stitch. And make sure that the right side of the circle is facing outside and the round side is facing towards you. And now we will mark the stitch that we will start joining from. Go back to this applique and make chain 1. To start joining, insert your hook into the last row of this applique just like this. And then go to the circle and insert your hook into the stitch that we marked with the stitch marker. After inserting into the both pieces like this, you have to make one single crochet. And make sure that the yarn tail is over the hook so that it's buried under the stitches. Now we have made our first joining single crochet. And for the next stitches, you have to do the same. Insert your hook into the next row. Like this. And go into the next stitch in the circle. And make one single crochet by placing the remaining yarn tail over the hook. And then go into the next row in the applique and into the next stitch in the circle and make one single crochet. This is how we are going to join these two together. Since we made a total of 38 rows in the applique, we're going to get 38 single crochet and there will be 12 stitches left on the circle at the end.
When you are finished, make chain one and cut the yarn. So this is how it looks like after joining and there are 12 stitches left on our circle. You can now cut the yarns that you buried. Now we're going to join with the remaining circle and this time the right side of the circle must be facing towards you. Just like before, mark the last stitch of the last round with a stitch marker. To start joining, first you have to insert the hook into that last stitch that you marked and go into the first row of the applique. Insert your hook just like this. We will bring the new yarn just like this and then make chain one first. After chain one, insert into the both pieces like we just did. And now make one single crochet. And then we can keep joining. We will insert the hook into the next half double crochet, not the slip stitch. And go into the next row in the applique. After that, make one single crochet. Do not forget to bury those yarn toes under the stitches. So just like this, we will keep joining all the way until the end. And just like before, there will be 12 half double crochet left on our circle at the end. When you are finished, you can cut the yarn and also cut the yarns that you buried under the stitches. This is how our little pouch is looking like so far and now we're going to add the fluff. To add the fluff, go to the back circle of this pouch. There are 12 stitches left at the back and this is where we're going to add the fluff. You can start from any side. I'm going to start from the right side. There is a slip stitch. Skip that slip stitch. We will just start from the half double crochet. Bring the yarn and make chain one first. And after that, make one single crochet into that half double crochet. And make one half double crochet into each remaining stitches. Since there are 12 stitches left, we will get a total of 12 single crochet. So we just finished making the row 1 of the flap. And to start row 2, make chain 1 first. After that, turn your piece. And make 1 single crochet into each stitch all the way until the end. You will also get 12 single crochet from row 2. From row 3 to row 7 is just a repetition of row 2. So you have to make up to row 7 just like we did row 2. This is how it looks like after row 7 and we're going to do row 8. To start row 8, chain 1, turn your piece. And using the first 2 stitches, we're going to make 1 decrease. After making the decrease, make 8 single crochet and there will be 2 stitches left at the end. In the last 2 stitches, make 1 decrease again. Now we have finished row 8 and we can start row 9. They are actually very similar. Chain 1, turn your piece 
and make one decrease in the first two stitches. After that, make six single crochet. And in the last two stitches, make one decrease. This is row nine, and for the row ten again, make one decrease using the first two stitches. And after that, make four single crochet. In the last two stitches, make one decrease. After row 10, make chain 1 and cut the yarn. Now we're going to crochet along the three sides of this flap to smoothen out the edges. We'll start from the right hand side. Go into the very first row of the flap and insert into that row just like this. After that, bring the yarn and make chain 1 first. After chain 1, insert into the same place again and make 1 single crochet. Insert into the next row of the flap and then make 1 single crochet. Insert into the next row again and make 1 single crochet. So this is how we smoothen out the edges using a single crochet. Since we did 10 rows on the flap, we're going to get 10 single crochet from this side. Once you get 10 single crochet, go to the last row of the flap, which is row 10. And in the row 10, just make one single crochet into each stitch. Since we have 6 single crochet in the last row, we're going to get 6 single crochet again from this side. Do not forget to bury those yarn tails under the stitches. Once you get 6 stitches, we will go to the last side, our third side of the flap, and which is similar to the fat side. Since we have 10 rows, we will also get 10 single crochet from this left side. When you're finished, you can chain one and cut the yarn. And cut the yarns that you buried under the stitches. And for this part, if you have one or two stitch difference in the total stitch count, it doesn't matter. As long as your flap looks nice and neat, it works. Now we will weave in the ends of the remaining yarn tails in the body and also on the flap. Now we're going to do the leaves for our pouches. We will start with the tomato leaf. You have to start with the magic ring. After doing the magic ring, you have to make four chains. In 
Insert your hook into the second chain from the hook and make one slip stitch. After that, insert your hook into the next chain and make one single crochet. And into the last chain, make one half double crochet. After that, make one slip stitch into the magic ring. And after that, we will start the pattern again. You have to repeat this pattern for five times in total. Make chain four. In the second chain from the hook, make a slip stitch. In the next chain, one single crochet. And in the last chain, make one half double crochet. And after that, make one slip stitch into the magic ring. So you have to repeat this pattern for a total of five times. When you are finished, put the yarn tightly to close the round. After that, chain one and cut the yarn leaving a long tail for sewing. Now we're doing the upper leaf and you have to start with a slip knot. Make 6 chains. Start from the second chain from the hook. Make 1 single crochet. In the next chain, make 1 half double crochet. In the next chain, make 1 double crochet. And in the next, Make one half double crochet. And in the last chain, you have to make a total of three single crochet. And now we will make kind of like a U turn and crochet into the lower parts of the chain. Into the first lower part, you have to make one half double crochet. And do not forget to bury the yarn tail under the stitches. In the next chain, make one double crochet. And in the next chain, make one half double crochet. And into the last chain, make one single crochet. After that, insert your hook into the very first stitch and make one slip stitch. After that, chain one and cut the yarn. Now we're making the stalks for apple and pumpkin using the brown yarn. But I'm gonna use this yarn in the video so that you can see better. You have to start with a slip knot and make six chains. Into the second chain from the hook, make one slip stitch. And into each remaining chain, make one single crochet. You will get a total of 4 single crochet. When you are finished, chain 1 and cut the yarn. For the pumpkin leaves, we will crochet them directly onto the flap. Count the fourth row from the bottom and choose the middle 2 stitches. This is where we are going to crochet. To start crocheting, insert your hook into the first middle stitch, just like this, and bring the green yarn. With the green yarn, make 13 chains. Into the second chain from the hook, make one single crochet. Into the next chain, make one single crochet. 
and in the next chain you have to make one increase. So this is the letter sequence. You have to start again with two single crochet and after that in the next chain make one increase. So you have to repeat this two single crochet one increase for a total of four times until the end. When you're finished, insert your hook the same way that you first inserted, just like this, and make one slip stitch. After that, we're going to make 7 chains again. And starting from the second chain from the hook, we will repeat that little sequence again, two single crochet, one increase, for a total of two times. At the end, insert your hook into the next stitch just like this and make one slip stitch. After that, chain one and cut the yarn. And give those leaves a little twist with your fingers like this so that they become more curly. Now we're going to weave in the ends for the remaining yarn tails. Just above those sleeves, we're going to sew the stalks that we made. And for the apple as well, we're going to sew the stalk like this and sew the leaf underneath it. We will sew the tomato leaf in the middle of the flap like this. Using this brown felt cloth and the glue, I'm going to add tiny seeds into the middle of the apple. If you want to make these pouches more functional and useful, I suggest adding these snap buttons for the closure. This is the end of our tutorial. I hope this video was simple and easy enough for you to follow. And also, don't forget to try Universe with the links in my description to get the discounts. Thank you so much for being here and I hope we will see each other again in the next videos. Bye bye and happy crocheting!